Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome to another episode of Mike's RC Corner. Today I went to the e-recycler and picked this little baby up. Someone dropped this off and uh, we're going to show what's underneath. This is the Dromeda Brushless. So we're going to have a quick little overview and run it on the street. This will be a quick video, but uh, this is an oldie and we'll throw it back and we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go. As always guys you could be doing a million other things and watching a million other videos but I always appreciate when you stop into Mike's Thirsty Corner and see what's going on. Again I was at the e-recycler and I think some lady dropped this off. May have been her son's that's moved out or whatever the circumstances are. Uh, it was all here intact. The radio is a little broken. The antenna is broken off but this radio still works. It's kind of like that fly sky type thing here. We have the Dromeda I believe it's gone under. I think it was under the Horizon uh, Hobby or maybe Tower Hobby. It was under their kind of portfolio. It's kind of like Vatera. These brands come and go. Um, but uh, they, they, I remember these guys making uh, a small short course truck. Um, I think this is kind of in that in between stage. I don't know if it's 16 or 18 scale. Anyways, I had the short course truck. I think it was called the Ominous. If you go back on my channel, like six seven maybe even eight years ago had it um it was kind of like what the wl toys was competing with the ace 969 the 979 the 959 buggy we're all kind of competing with this and anyways um this one came out i believe a little after those and um this has a little brushless motor someone's converted it to xt 30 or 60 sorry um, I can't remember which one's which. Uh, it does have a nickel metal battery in here, and I do have a charger for it, and <clears throat> it's USB, which is kind of cool. Um, so maybe this thing is a little newer than I, I'm thinking, but I haven't really followed this brand very much. Um, Oil-filled shocks. So this thing does have oil-filled shocks, and it runs pretty smooth. Um, Again, quick, you may, you guys are probably think in your head, yeah, with well, Mike, you got this thing, and what happens if it breaks? Well, that's what it is. It is what it is with this. Uh, didn't cost me hair anything, and um, we're just gonna have a little fun. Uh, I think this may be one I will just drive myself. I don't really wanna put in the hands of my kids too much, because if it does break. But uh, I think this thing's pretty squirrely, and so everyone's waiting to see this thing go. We'll get the radar out too, and we'll see what this thing can do. And uh, possibly, maybe even later, I'll do another video on this. And because uh, I don't have anything ready, but we'll see if this thing works on a light bulb. All right, let's get this thing on the street. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I got this on, and uh, despite the antenna nub being broken, I don't have any connection issues with this thing. And uh, this thing is pretty fast. <laughs> Not bad. I think this would probably classify as an 18 scale. And I'm not sure how much I have charge in the battery. Um, I believe it's a three wire servo in it. It seems to be a little sticky. And it's possibly because it hasn't been run in a while. It doesn't seem to want to center properly all the time. Let me just check my foam here and slide it over. Yeah, it's not going to be the wheel on the radio that's doing it. But it's manageable. Sometimes it wants to drift a little bit, but not near as bad as some of those five wire servo things. Let's take it here a little off-road. You can see those shocks are working really well because it didn't bounce up once it hit the grass there off the driveway. Uh-oh, I think we're running out of battery already. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to do a second part of this video. When I come back, I'll have this thing all charged up and we'll do some speed runs. The battery's going. All right, it's been out in the cold and uh, I didn't charge it for more than about 20 minutes. So we'll uh, get this thing back on the street and we'll do some speed runs. So stay tuned for that. All right. One hour later. Okay guys, we're back after a couple hours of charging. The green light on the nickel metal charger says this thing is full. I'm glad I did that and we can know where this battery's at. So we're gonna take her out for a few speed rips. 
She certainly has a whiny pitch, but here we go. Whoa. Whoa, she really wants to pull over there. All right, here we go. That's full throttle. 42. Woohoo! <laughs> this little guy can do some. 18 scale, 42 times 18 will give you the true scale speed. 43. So we're going to be in that happy spot there 42 44 ish and that's on nickel metal 7.2 volt pretty exciting stuff one last one 42 so cool little truck grass is matted down it's winter time here blast straight through that there's not much ground clearance on this though I wouldn't run this into the grass unless it's kind of like this condition here. Uh, the shocks on it are really good for being stock, oil filled. Whoop. Um, it definitely seems a little tight, so I didn't really look it over much. So maybe that uh, pinion is a little tight to the gear. It doesn't seem really want to roll much after you get off the throttle. I don't think that's dry brake. But anyways, we'll give her one last go here. Dramada little brushless truck. 44, wow, it saved the best for last. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Another great little find over at the e-recycler. Thanks to the lady who donated it and added one to my collection. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's getting a chance to RC. Over here, it's getting close to Christmas time, so I hope you find that RC under the tree. I don't know when this video will be released, but if it's after Christmas, um, it was good times too. So I hope everyone's doing well, and we'll see you soon on the next one. All right, peace out.